Hello, my name is Ian Dean. Today I will be talking about Mesh Baker LOD. Uh, Mesh Baker LOD is basically a combination of uh, static and dynamic batching. It's a re-implementation of LOD and it works in the Indie version. So let's take a quick look at what happens. Let me disable it first. So that's disabled. Uh, we've got this scene. It's got um, a whole bunch of trees and little houses. The houses have furniture in them. There's tables, chairs, cups, plates, that sort of thing. Um, uh, so there's a lot of meshes, a lot of vertices. So if we run the scene, let's just let this start up. Okay, so we start off with um, frames per second around 200. Draw calls 670, triangles uh, 300,000, vertices uh, 300,000. And as I run around, uh, these change to draw calls. In this direction, they drop down quite a bit. Um, in this direction, they're actually going up 700. Um, same thing with the triangles and such. So this is a fairly heavy scene. So let's um, pause this. And I'll show you what happens with Mesh Baker LOD. So turn this on, true, save it, start this up again. So by the way, Mesh Baker LOD requires Mesh Baker. It's an add-on for Mesh Baker, so you have to have Mesh Baker first, and then you can add on the LOD, this add-on to it. So okay, notice the frames per second is up to 1,500. That's almost a tenfold increase. Uh, draw calls are down at 26, so they were up at 670. Um, so that's a over 90% drop um, or 80% drop. Triangles 45,000. We had about 300,000 before. Vertices 67,000. We had about 400,000 before. And as I run around, look what happens. So it's still performing very well. Notice as I move, the uh, frames per second drops down quite a bit. And that's because baking is happening. And so as I move around, um, meshes are being baked. And that slows it down. But as soon as I stop, nothing has to be baked because everything's staying in the same level of detail. So the frames per second pops way back up to 1,000, a, a which is about you know 10 times what we had before. Um, and these other stats are say, are staying quite low. So how is this working? What's it doing? So if we zoom over here and you look at it from above, notice the scene is, has these white cube gizmos. Um, what those are are clusters. So if we click on meshes inside, like I clicked on this one tree and all of these trees lit up, that's because those trees are all in one mesh. If I click on this tree, the rest of the trees light up. So in this square, all the meshes have been baked into two meshes. So instead of about, it looks like we had about 80, 80 trees there, maybe 50 trees. Um, now we have two meshes. If I click on the houses, all the houses in this cluster have been baked into two um, meshes. So instead of a mesh for each house and the tables and chairs and such that contained it, now we've got uh, two meshes for all those things. Okay, so um, that gives you a bit of an idea. Uh, oh, and let's um, just look, if we zoom out again here, um, if I click on my character, my character is over here. Notice the meshes beside my character are in a very high level of detail. And then as the, the meshes farther away are in lower level of detail, and the meshes that are really far away are in this really low level of detail. So in the scene view, in the game view, you can see that you know the trees that are close up look great, and then as they get farther away, they get simpler and simpler. Um, so that helps manage get those really really low um, uh, triangle and and vertex rates. Also notice when I zoom out that the the scene is sort of arranged into this circle, and there's nothing outside it. So the meshes outside this circle have actually been culled. And if I move my character around, take the pause off, uh, go back to the scene, you'll be able to see that that circle is going to move. So it, it kind of happens slowly because um, the baking is distributed across frames, but um, the, the meshes are, are you know, 
being different meshes are being called as the character moves around. Okay, so let's. How does this differ from Unity's uh, implementation of um, uh, static and dynamic batching and LOD? Because it has it has both. So the advantages of Mesh Baker are it can combine non-static and procedurally generated content at runtime. So Unity's static batching happens at build time, and um, so you can't add any content to the, the statically batched st stuff um, after build time. Uh, mesh Baker can also combine skin meshes. Um, mesh Baker can combine meshes that use different materials. Um, another advantage is dynamic Unity's dynamic batching bakes every single frame, uh, whereas Mesh Baker only bakes meshes when needed. Um, with Mesh Baker, you can eliminate or you can limit how many meshes are allowed in each level of detail. I'll show you that works great with mobs of skin meshes. I'll show you in the next little scene. Also, Mesh Baker LOD works with Indie. So there's one more thing I'd like to show you, which is um, a skinned mesh scene. So let's turn this off, open up this skinned mesh scene, and I'll just disable Mesh Baker LOD again. So we've got this scene. There's about a hundred skinned meshes in it. Um, we'll see it in a second. They walking towards the camera. So there's about a hundred skin meshes here. So um, draw calls, 185 draw calls. Um, what else do we have? Uh, 480,000 vertices, 700,000 um, uh, verts. Uh, 480. That guy's going kind of crazy. Um, so as you can see this is a pretty heavy scene so if we want to or so let's see what happens now we're at, this is slightly heavier than than normal because you're actually seeing all the levels of detail at the moment um, but if I switch this back to if I switch on the mesh baker LOD let's watch what happens Do, 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 do. Okay, here we go. So um, draw calls are down to three, five um, triangles, thirty thousand vertices, uh, forty thousand. So it's about a tenfold drop in the number of vertices being displayed. And there's also um, some neat, another neat trick happening here, which is I've limited the meshes being allowed in which levels of detail. So if we look over here, um, there's five meshes allowed in the highest level of detail and 10 meshes allowed in the next level of detail. So if I look over at my scene and uh, zoom in, um, so you can see that right, right around the camera, there's a couple of guys here that are in a very high level of detail. Then behind them, there's a few more guys that are in uh, a lower level of detail and everyone else in the background is these very simple lollipop uh, meshes with no bones and then if I look at the game view you don't actually you could definitely do a better job with these guys to make them stand out even less but you don't actually notice them all that much because you've got these big moving characters right in front of you in the high level of detail um, so this actually lets you get a lot of characters on the screen at the same time with a fairly low performance impact. Anyway, that's um, what I wanted to say about uh, Mesh Baker LOD. So the next tutorial uh, will start showing you how to use it, how to set it up, how it works, and uh, it's available in the Asset Store. And uh, just to mention again, it requires having Mesh Baker. So thank you for taking the time to watch this.